Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create pie or donut charts, the differences, and how you can actually transform one into the other just using simple options built into chart.js. Let's get going on that now. Okay, so now that we've covered almost all of the major charts, we just have one more to go. Now this is going to be a pie and donut chart. Now a pie chart is one of the most common types of charts and a donut chart is literally just the same thing with a hole in the center. It just adds a little bit more visual flair and you may have seen it on places like mint.com if you ever used mint. So let's talk about how we can do this. The best part about using a pie chart here is that we largely need the same amount of stuff. I'm gonna get rid of these options for now. And you see we have our polar area. This can just be pi, so P-I-E, just like that. And we're going to really just need, as far as data goes, we need, inside of our data object, we need labels. So in this case, we have five labels. And then we also need our data sets. Now in our data sets, we have just one data set where we have our data, which is an array of five numbers, and we have an array of five background colors. So this is going to work very similarly to the polar area chart in terms of how the data is organized, because we need a background color for each individual data item, as well as each label here. So if we save this, you'll head to our chart, refresh, and you'll see a beautiful pie chart and we get that rotation animation in. Now that's really nice. Again, just like the last video, we can turn that off just by saying we don't want that to happen with the rotation animation. Now with the pie chart and the donut chart, there is an option for a rotation scale. You'll notice it only rotate it. However, the animated scale animation is not on by default. So we can say options, and then inside of options, we're looking for animation. I probably could have just commented this out or something instead of deleting it. And inside of animation, we just need animate scale. Because right now we're just animating rotation and the default is set to false. So we can set this to be true. Okay. So now let's head this, let's refresh, and you'll see we get this growing, exploding pie chart. Now I can see the reason why this would be false because it doesn't exactly give you an idea of how large the chart is when it's growing. In fact, like if, with the polar area chart, you sort of had this graph, you had these lines to show you how big it would be. In this instance, it's maybe a little bit surprising what the final size of this thing is gonna be, but all in all, I, I do like it. Now let's go ahead and talk about the donut chart because the pie and donut charts are really the same thing. All we have to do is say that this is a dough nut. And as far as all of this goes, we don't need to change anything else. And everything is the same here. I mean, this chart is really the same thing, but with this white circle. I mean, the animation on is quite a bit different too, but it looks really nice. So a donut chart can be a really cool thing if you want sort of a modern look at a pie chart. Maybe you don't want something that's going to be too heavy in your user interface. This hole in the center really lightens this up, right? It, it takes away some of the, the weight and the strength of this thing. Now what's funny here is we have this donut, right? And we can change the center size of this donut with an option. Now inside of our options above animation, we can have this be cut out percentage. Okay, make sure I'm spelling everything correctly. And this is just going to be a number from zero to 100. And it's for a donut, its default is actually going to be 50. So if we set this to something like 80, Make sure we have a comma there. And we can go ahead and refresh this. You can see we get a way skinnier donut chart. And if we were to take this down to, and we were to take this down to 20, you're gonna see we get a way fatter donut. But you might be wondering what's up with this property, right? Does this property exist just for donut charts? It actually exists for pie charts as well. And we can actually come in here and say, hey, pie, have a cutout percentage of 20, and it's gonna look the same as a donut with cutout percentage of 20. So the difference between a pie and a donut is simply just changing the default number for this cutout percentage. 
Uh, can we make a pie chart that looks just like the default donut chart by setting this to 50%? Absolutely. So if you are using several pie charts and maybe you just want to keep things nice and simple, or maybe you just don't want to type out donut, uh, you can always set out this cutout percentage if you'd like, but the donut is a shortcut essentially to just setting this cutout percentage. Now, let's say we're not happy with the rotation of this thing. We want the green to be on the top, right? For some reason, the green is heavy and we want it to be on the top. We can actually change the rotation of this thing too, simply by just adding this as a rotation. Now you might expect this rotation to be like a degree, right? So we were to say rotate this 180 degrees, then you might expect this to have the green on top, right? But this is actually the starting angle to draw the arcs from, and that is determined by the, and the default for this is actually negative 0.5 times math dot pi. So if we want to modify this, let's actually use math dot pi here. And as you can see, this is how we're going to be modifying this here. If we want, let's say, the default, which is times negative 0.5. Let's refresh this. You can see this is what it looked like. But what would happen if we were to have this be positive 0.5? Save this. And as you can see, it's rotated the other way, the same amount of distance. And likewise, if we were to do, let's say one, it's going to be the green on the side. So a little bit of math here to calculate the rotation. I probably would have preferred this to just be a, a degree, but, but it doesn't really matter in the end. So this is pretty cool. We basically, at no time, created a pie chart. We've created a donut chart. We've shown how you can actually make a pie chart into a donut chart and vice versa. Now, if you've ever used something like D3, you'll know that the data needs to be like sort of transformed and scaled before you do anything with it. Uh, in chart.js, you're going to be actually passing in the scale options into your options itself. So in the next video, we're going to talk a little bit about scale and what you can do with scales to change your data a little bit. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you want to have access to the Level Up themes for chart.js, there's just eight or so themes. You can purchase this series along with getting access to all of these videos for digital download. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.